learned is that, um, especially as a solo artist, this is harder to group, but especially as a solo artist, the music is more meaningful than it's personal to you, you know, and, and, uh, and I, I've learned to channel and funnel more of myself into my music, if that makes sense. Um, and, uh, and I think the other thing, too, from, from, a, from a sound standpoint, um, is that when you're in a group, you know, you're part of the team, and you have to kind of complement everyone else in the team. Uh, and, and I think an interesting thing for me has been, and I saw this more in my first solo record, is how do you make yourself sound different as a solo artist uh, than you did as a group? And if I went to the studio and started stacking harmonies the same way we did in 90 degrees, it sounded a lot like 90 degrees, you know? And uh, so it was, it was an evolution for me to try and break out of that and become my own, uh, my own sound, so to speak. Now, when New Kids on the Block... Does that make any sense at all? Yeah. Yes. All right, yeah. All right. Now, when New Kids on the Block did their tour, and Baxter Boys came back out, and Spice Girls came back out, did Drew ever call and be like, hey, what do you think? Are any of the guys in the band? Uh, Drew was too busy being on a Dancing with the Stars tour. Right? <laughs> he was like, I'm a dancing queen now. So. Uh, no, you, you see stuff like that happening, and, and uh, you know, it, obviously, we're all human. We should be like, hey, it's kind of cool to get back to the guys and do something. Um, you know, so we always, in, intentionally so, left that door uh, wide open, you know, because uh, we don't know what's going to happen down the line. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm, I'm doing my own thing, and, and Drew's doing his own thing, and, and Jeff's uh, working on another record. Just right now. So, you know, I think everyone's kind of moved into their own uh, areas of, of uh, doing stuff. You know, Justin was campaigning for Ralph Nader uh, this last uh, presidential election. So he's got his, his passions that he's uh, you know, invested in. Uh, but down the line, you never know. You know, you never know what might happen. Or what, you know, what would make sense? Now, Nick, I mean, every star, you, you have your Facebook, your Twitter, your MySpace, everything. Is any of that you? Uh, no, it's not. It's, I mean, it's one of those things where I, I've never. I'm first of all computer literate. Almost, I can't. I can barely turn the thing on. Um, and, and so I've never, I've never even been on MySpace or been on Facebook. Um, uh, apparently, I'm maybe the only one in America who's not probably. Uh Yeah, I think there's some some people who, who obviously uh, you know who who uh, been gracious enough to step up and, and do one for me. Uh, but uh, at times, you see, I always got to be careful. Obviously, it's not uh, it's not easy. the place I go. Actually, there's two places I go to figure out what's going on in my life. One is NickShade.com, and the other is NickFanatic.com. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the time when you Google yourself? Thirty-five thousand English say sites pop up. Uh, it's you know it's it's uh it's strange because you I mean you guys all know this when you read on the internet what you hear and, and I'd say it's a fraction of it is actually true you know so when you it's always disturbing to me when you when you see a story comes out whether it's Google or whatever that's uh you know that's that's not accurate because it puts you sometimes in the light you, you don't deserve to be or don't want to be in so. I just always caution everybody, you know, it's, it's, uh, we live in an era now, an age where there's very little privacy, there's very little uh, secrecy, and, and, and because of that, people tend to exploit um, things sometimes. There's always been your previous life, just, you know, even back in the it's, it's, there's a good chance it's not true. So now what's your name, nickfanatic.com? Exactly. And did you start the site yourself? No, I did not. But there's actually a few of us here today, we're meeting for the first time, we connected on there, and we're meeting. Let's see a show of hands for all the Nick Fanatics in the... Ah! Nice. No, that, I, literally, this site has been, uh, has been my kind of lifeline at times because I, I honestly, they have more content and more... Uh, and now in the last couple months, I've, I've taken over my own site and we're starting to do more content on there as well. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a great, out, uh, great source um, to find out what's going on. Do you have a question for me? Story, and people want the story to continue to be told. 
you know. Um, so that's that's uh, it's a strange thing to, to kind of deal with. You know? I mean, it really is. If you think about it in terms of the fact that we got divorced you know, three years ago, essentially, but for some reason that show had an impact on people more than that. It seems like yesterday in this film, and she's gone on with her life, follows and gone on to find it. For whatever reason, that, that chapter in both of our lives is something that will always, you know, always be there. Very cool, man. Boy, one more question. Because people at the back wanted to ask a question. Who in the back back has a question? I'm right, sorry, I saw you first. What's your name? Hi, I'm Christy Apple. What would you like to ask? I want to know, do you have any superstitions? <laughs> Very superstitions. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm not a crazy superstitious person. I just noticed all the people in the back. Uh, the one thing I do always do is is, uh, is knock on the, on the fuselage of the plane before I land. And I'm not sure how that started, but when you're in, in this business, you fly a ton. And I just figured, you know what? It was very early on, 90 degrees, and I just gotta give it a nice little knock on, on the side of the plane. And it's not. It's not like I'm gonna be able to tell if the plane's gonna be able to do it. It's become a bit of a superstition. And so, now, uh, so now I always do that. And, and uh, be remiss if I didn't say, you know, we should all be very. I think when stuff happens like what happened in Nibuka last week, we see a, a tragedy like that and the plane goes down, and really, you know, it really puts life in perspective that we ought to kind of remind ourselves of every now and then. And so, live every day like it, uh, you know. Very cool, Nick. Thank you for your time today. We're going to do one more song, your pick. Superstition, I'm just kidding. Whatever you want to do.